Hey guys, in today's YouTube video, we're going to be ranking all of the chapter one POIs on the map. Before we get into it, I just want to remind you to use code EVOLVE-JAKE in the Fortnite item shop. If you do use this code, Epic pays me a percentage of the money that you spend in game. And also, if you want to watch me live, I stream every day on Twitch. It will be linked down in the description below, but it's just EVOLVE-JAKE, just like my YouTube name. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please remember to give it a like and sub if you would like to see more. Today we're going to be ranking all of the locations from the Fortnite Chapter 1 map. This is not the Chapter 2 map, only the Chapter 1 POIs. So, hope you guys enjoy the video and I'm going to rank them and give my opinion on the location and explain why I rank it the way I do. Remember to drop a like on the video if you enjoy it and want to see more like tier lists like this. I don't know, I think some of them can be cool and it's a way to like kind of give your opinion on things that you wouldn't normally give your opinion on in Fortnite. Also comment down below, you can make your own entire list if you want, or you can just comment your favorite and least favorite location, just to make it short. I'm ranking them all here. If you want to leave your entire list down below, I will read it. But if you also just want to leave your least to favorite and favorite location, that's fine. Starting off with Tilted Towers, I feel like you can't not put this in the best category. This is like the most iconic POI in Fortnite history. It's a spot that everyone would drop at and get like high kills. It has the most loot. It's the biggest location. I feel like this is the most iconic location in the game and there's like, I feel like you can't not put it at best even if you weren't someone that dropped there often. Uh, Tomato Temple. I'm gonna put this at a good, maybe a great, I, I'm gonna put it at a good. I really enjoyed this location, it was a good amount of loot, it often wasn't contested too hard, but there would be a fair amount of people going there, I used to go there a lot in season 7, and you could maybe get like 4 or 5 kills off spawn and a decent amount of loot, and go about your day. It was also a pretty small location, so you could kill the people and loot it pretty quickly, whereas something like Tilted or some of the other locations, they take a while to clear out. Tomato Temple was not that way, and you could clear this location really, really well. Uh, Tomato Town, I'm gonna put at okay. I never really went here that much. It was in, it didn't seem like that much loot. It wasn't really that memorable. I mean, it is memorable in the sense that it's like an OG location, but I, I don't really miss this location at all. If it was added to the map again, I, I probably wouldn't go there very much. So I'm just gonna put it at okay. I don't think it was actively bad. It was just, it was there. It was okay. Wailing Woods. I'm gonna, I wanna put this at worst. Um, there's two different versions of Wailing Woods. There was the... I want to say it was season six they added like the bunker and everything maybe it was five i don't know exactly when it happened but at some point they added a bunker with like teleporters at wailing woods and at that point it became a, an okay to good location but initially i would put it at worst so i'm gonna put it at, at okay with the bunkers it's good without the bunkers it's worst so we'll just put it at okay um i remember this location the maze in the middle was like the most memorable part of it and like season one me was actually like i didn't want to go in this location at all it was so awkward to build in it was it's pretty memorable but it's not somewhere that i want to go salty springs i'm gonna put this at a best just a generic town in fortnite that lots of people go to easy to loot lots of fun to play in you can loot it quickly get a lot of kills and then it had really good rotations because it was pretty much the center of the map so i'm gonna put salty springs in the best category shifty shafts put it good solid amount of loot it's in a good position on the map you could rotate towards tilted you could rotate towards greasy and in the seasons when there was rifts at greasy grove this was actually a pretty good location you could loot it go to the rift uh fight people at greasy and then also potentially go to tilted go to salty you had a lot of options from shifty shafts and it was a fair amount of loot so we're gonna put that in the good snobby shores we're gonna put it at worst uh i know a lot of people like this location but in my opinion really far edge takes a long time to loot not a lot of people go there that makes something the worst spot in my opinion i, I don't want to go to that sunny steps um i think we're gonna put it okay and this location could actually be a great location in my opinion but it's so far on the edge of the map that i didn't want to go to it and that it was so far on the edge of the map that not a lot of people went to it but i thought it was a cool location the aesthetic of it is probably one of the coolest locations in the game along with tomato temple but just the sheer fact that it was super far on the edge and no one really went there uh, it would it gives it a bad rating for me the block i mean this this really depends on what block you're talking about but i'm gonna put it at great usually the blocks were good they were fun to go to once they moved the block from uh the right side of the map to the left side of the map i believe that happened in either season eight or nine 
it was probably season eight once they changed that entire area so yeah in season eight when they moved it it became a really good location i thought i really enjoyed it on the left side of the map and it was something special to look forward to every week that epic themselves didn't necessarily have to make i think the block should definitely return in chapter two at some point on the map it's just it, it was amazing something cool and unique every single week they could do a lot with the block locations because they didn't need to necessarily fit into the storyline at all it could be a town one week and then a temple the next week and then a hospital the week after that and then some weird like sh statue thing the week after that like they could do anything with that and it was something fun for the community to make so i'm gonna put it at the great paradise palms this is one of my favorite locations on the map ever since it was added in season five i loved paradise uh the rifts were nice it was a good amount of people usually it was far on the edge so it really depended on the bus but when you got a bus that was early paradise and you could drop there and get a lot of kills get a lot of loot and then hit the rift and get like right into like salty area it had really good rotations because of those rifts so i would definitely put paradise as best definitely one of the most memorable locations on the map for me uh, the next spot, Pleasant Park. I'm going to put this at Great. I, I think it was a really good location. I didn't go to it as much just because of the amount of mountains around it. But I feel like especially like Season 1, pre-tilted Fortnite, Pleasant was one of the best locations on the map for high kills. And even today on the Chapter 2 map, it is a spot that I enjoy going to. So we're going to get put Pleasant at the Great. Lots of loot, lots of people, big location. It does take a while to loot, but I would definitely put it as a, as a great location. Polar Peak, I'm going to put worst. I didn't really like any of the snow locations. I think they're all going to be on the worst category here for me. Um, but Polar Peak, especially because it got rid of Greasy Grove. Greasy Grove is going to be in the best category. It's one of my favorite locations. And Polar Peak pretty much got rid of it. The best thing about Polar Peak, I thought, was the way it developed over time. So it started as like a frozen castle full of ice. And then over time, the ice melted and it like more and more of it appeared. I think that's a pretty cool concept for a location. But I just wasn't a fan of the entire snow biome. And the fact that it got rid of Greasy makes me pretty salty. Retail Row. We're going to put this in the best. I think my shirt literally says straight out of Retail Row. This is one of the first locations that I've really enjoyed going to in Season 1 or even pre-Season 1 of Fortnite. Retail has been a spot that I've always enjoyed going to. Even in Chapter 2 on the new map, I love going to Retail Row. Uh, lots of loot, lots of people. Once again, before Tilted Towers was added, Retail Row was the spot that you would go to find a lot of people, depending on the bus. Risky Reels. Uh, I think we're going to put this in good. I didn't necessarily like it as much because of where it was on the map. It was really far edge. But when you got a good bus for it, a lot of people went there. And it was a good amount of loot. And it, it because of the way the location was set up, it was really open. So you could clear it really quickly, which is something I personally like for getting like lots of kills in a game. You could go there, get your kills quickly, rotate out, and look for more people. So I would definitely put uh, Risky in a good, maybe great. It's, it's a good location. Um, and on the Chapter 2 map, I enjoy it as well. Leaky Lake. I, I don't know what they mean by this. I'm going to assume this is just post season six Loot Lake. And uh, I'm going to put this in good. I didn't really drop here much, but I didn't mind rotating here at all. Whereas Loot Lake was like pretty garbage to rotate to. I thought the season six changes they made with the butterfly event made it a much better location. So we're going to put that in the good. Lonely Lodge. It's going to be in the worst for me. It's far edge really big location takes really long to loot and not that many people went there typically like i enjoy going to a spot where i can get a decent amount of kills loot it quick and then rotate out and look for more kills and lonely lodge doesn't really provide that even though it was like a location that had a lot of loot and it is pretty memorable um especially because of the name people always made memes about it but we're gonna put it at worst uh loot lake I don't know what to do with this uh between worst and okay i guess i'm just gonna put it at okay uh early fortnite this area was really annoying to go through because we weren't as good at building but once players got okay at building it, it was an all right location uh, i never really dropped here ever but just as an area to go to i didn't mind it as much once we got better at building uh, lucky landing is gonna go as a good maybe okay we're gonna put it good i really liked this location one of the things that didn't have going for it or like one of the things against it is that it's so far edge but i believe at one point there was rifts that were added yeah there was definitely like a truck that you could go to and get rifts so i'm definitely gonna put it in good because of those rifts i enjoyed this location it was a fun little area to play out and the aesthetic of it i think was really cool and i actually got my highest kill game ever from this location when it was first added uh so it's it's in the good category for me moisty meyer uh, we're gonna put uh, okay 
By my today's standard, I wouldn't really like this location. It would be an area that not that many people go to. Takes a while to loot and far edge so it would probably go in the worst for me today but i used to drop here in season one and two it was a nice spot for wins and i played for wins more back then after season two i really didn't go here that much and then eventually in season five it was removed for paradise which i would rate as an upgrade but moisty's okay uh it was a spot where lots of people learned how to build especially before there was creative mode happy hamlet uh it's gonna be between okay and worst Let's put it okay. It was a pretty nice area, lots of loot, but it was far edge and it's the snow biome. Like, being in the snow biome loses you a lot of points for me. I don't think there was any rifts nearby, but there was planes for mobility, but yeah, this wasn't a location that I really enjoyed going to much at all, aside from when it first came out and a lot of people were going there. Haunted Hills. It's between worst and okay. I'm gonna put it at worst. I really like the, like, spooky aesthetic. I wish we had a spot like that on chapter two. And I did kind of go here for arena sometimes, but this was not a spot I really enjoyed going to. Far edge of the map, not a lot of people go there. That's not a spot that I'm going to like to go to. Junk Junction, same thing. Far edge of the map, not a lot of people go there. I don't like it. Lazy Lake, I'm going to put it, or Lazy Lagoon, my bad. I'm going to put it great. I didn't enjoy this location that much in Season 8. I wish I did. It took me a while to kind of like start learning this location and, and enjoying it. But if I liked it at the start of Season 8 when there was a lot of people going there, it definitely could have been a spot for like high kills for me. Um, but yeah, it, it was a cool aesthetic, the pirate theme. The boat had lots of mats and lots of loot. It's a little awkward to fight in off spawn but I enjoyed this location. One of the things that changed for me with this location is when I stopped landing at the shops and started landing at the boat, I started enjoying it much more. Uh, Dusty Divot, my favorite location ever. Center of the map, decent amount of people would go there, but it didn't really matter that much because it was center of the map, you could rotate towards retail or salty really quickly. Usually get like three or four kills at Dusty, and by then it's already looted and then you're out of there. Like it was really good for like decent kill games for me. Like I feel like, I could go dusty and get an average kill or like above 10 kill win pretty consistently and it had just had so much like um like versatility like you could go anywhere from there it was a decent amount of loot lots of wood there was mushrooms like it was a pretty good location for me and that's why it's probably my favorite location ever and that's why you'll see it on my animated loading screen reminder to use code evolve dash jake follow me on instagram follow me on twitter both are evolve jake and hashtag ad for that supporter creator so Next, we got Lazy Links, another one of my favorite locations. The golf course was a cool spot, but I just liked it because you could land up top, get an AR, and then get like three or four kills like really easily. And it had the golf cart, so you could quickly rotate towards somewhere else. Like I, I really like spots that you can clear out quickly. And if I had to pick one place, place I miss the most, it would maybe be Lazy Links. If I could bring any location to the chapter two map, I feel like it would be between Lazy Links and uh greasy but greasy is pretty similar to holly um we'll just go ahead and read greasy next uh this is location was just a spot that i started going to a lot in season two when i started playing with my friend sammy because it was his favorite location and i just have a lot of fond memories of it for that reason in addition to it being like a nice medium-sized location that you could clear out pretty quickly and have a solid amount of loot it's like retail but it was on the other side of the map and i really enjoyed it and there was rifts that were added in season five that made it even better Anarchy Acres, uh, I guess good. It wasn't bad. I didn't really go there that much at the time, but I mean, it, it, there's nothing bad I have to say about it. It was okay. Dusty Depot, eh, we're gonna go good. Same thing, nothing bad for me to say about it. I didn't really go there that much. It was a decent spot for high kill games back in season one, just because it was the center of the map and a, a decent amount of people would go there and you could clear it really quickly. Like when people didn't know how to build, you land at a gun on Dusty Depot. If you landed on the gun, you were getting like three or four kills easy and the people weren't going to be able to shoot you back. Fatal Fields. I don't know. I want to say okay. This place was really good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than Anarchy, but uh, the corn that they added in Season 6 was really annoying. I enjoyed the Halloween version they made in Season 6, but the corn itself was really, really whack in my opinion. Uh, and even today on the Chapter 2 map, I'm not a fan of the corn, so we'll put Fatal in okay. Flesh Factory, it's going to go in the worst once again. Huge location, edge of the map, takes a long time to loot, no one really goes there. Like, that's pretty much the theme of these locations that I think are the worst. Frosty Flights, same thing. I didn't really enjoy using the planes at all. I usually don't use the vehicles, but edge, not a lot of people went there. Decent amount of time to loot. Same thing like Flush, not a spot I enjoy. Mega Mall, 
I want to say okay. I didn't really give Mega Mall a chance. Same with Neo Tilted. Both of these spots I think are okay. They're not like aggressively bad, but I didn't like any of them. We can maybe put Neo Tilted in worse just because it was a huge downgrade from Tilted. But I didn't really use any of these locations. Mega Mall, Neo Tilted. I feel like I didn't give them a fair chance. And so it's kind of hard for me to rate them. Pressure Plant, we'll put it great. I really enjoyed this location, especially being a controller player. It was like really nice to be able to land there and beam people. And then you had those vents for the mobility. Like I've said with a lot of the locations, I really enjoy. A decent amount of people went there. You could clear it quick and there was mobility to get out. So, or it like had a decent spot for rotation. You could clear this and then fly to Lagoon. You could fly to Dusty. You could fly to near Salty Retail. Like you could go from this location to another spot after clearing it and getting like a few kills. Moisty Palms, worst spot in the game in my opinion. That was the spot with Prop Hunt. Moisty Palms as a location I think could have been cool. Like it could have been like good to great honestly but the fact that it had prop hunt you couldn't play fortnite properly i would have really liked to be able to play the prison again in season 10 because i feel like that's a spot that i didn't really properly appreciate back in the day but the prop hunt thing with crouching is just something that i could never get behind and it was pretty annoying because it ruined one of my favorite spots tilted town um this is good to great i think it's okay it was an upgrade over neo tilted it was an interesting mechanic of not being able to build which was pretty frustrating i personally didn't enjoy it that much but it was pretty cool in the sense that it had set loot you would pretty much always get a pump there you would always get a revolver the fights were pretty fun to play out and at the time there was the guaranteed rift in loot lake so you could get like a revolver a pump i don't know if ars were there I don't think they were i think it was just like revolvers pumps hunting rifle and then the six shooter but you could go there get your pump and then get a few kills like you would usually clear it pretty quickly with a decent amount of kills and a guaranteed shotgun which was big back in the day because chest spawn rates were not fixed like they are in chapter two uh they weren't constant so just getting a pump was like really nice and then you could from there go to loot lake and then rift onto other people it was a decent spot for like high kill games so i would rate it there and it was an improvement over neo tilted as far as the rift zones go i didn't enjoy most of them but i think tilted town was one of the few that like kind of did its thing right it was definitely really annoying for late game but if you wanted to like rate the spot as far as landing uh i would say tilted town is okay so in the best category, we have Tilted, Salty, Paradise, Retail, Dusty, Lazy Links, Greasy. Great, we have Block, Pleasant, Lazy Lagoon, Pressure Plant, Good, Tomato Temple, Shifty Shafts, Risky Reels, Leaky Lake, Lucky Landing, Anarchy, Dusty Depot, Fatal Fields, Tilted Town, and OK, we have Tomato Town, Wailing Woods, Sunny Steps, Loot Lake, Moisty Mire, Happy Hamlet, Mega Mall, and in the worst category, we have Snobby Shores, Polar Peak, Moisty Palms, Lonely Lodge, Haunted Hills, Junk Junction, Frosty Flights, Flesh Factory, and Neo Tilted. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed me giving my opinions on these locations and just kind of reminiscing about them. Because I feel like the old Fortnite map has a lot of great spots on it that uh, a lot of people took for granted. Like I feel like Lazy Links, a lot, lots of these spots you're probably looking at and missing and you didn't even realize that you missed them. You can leave a comment letting me know what your best and least favorite locations are. Or if you want to make an entire list like this, you can do that. I read every comment on my videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you did. And I'll see you guys another time. Thanks for watching.